you know, pretty, pretty shocked. Um, like Coach was explaining before, the whole process of an at-large bid is so complicated. And, um, you know, we definitely went through a roller coaster of a season. And um, we had our low points that really, you know, led, I think, ultimately to this decision. And we had our high points also. Um, but when you leave your future in the hands of someone else, um, it's never a good feeling, you know. There's never a sure feeling about it. And um, that's what we did this season. And it's um, pretty heartbreaking, you know, as your senior. But uh, you can only do what you can do. And I felt that I did everything I could. And so, you know, had a great career here and wouldn't have gone anywhere else. What has Coach Wright meant to, to your career, not only your career, but, but to your life as well? You know, you learn a lot from Coach on the field, but I think when you come to Fresno State, you learn more off the field from her. Um, she is the definition of competition. You know, whether people take her in a good way or a bad way, and um, she really loves this game and she loves all of us girls. And that's one thing that I've taken for her is that, from her is that if you're going to do anything, do it with passion. And um, if you're going to compete for something, be the best. And I think our schedule throughout the years that she gives us has been, you know, if we want to be the best, we're going to play the best, no matter what conference we've been in or anything. And um, that's something I'm going to always remember from Coach Wright is not necessarily the skills I might have learned on the field, but the life lessons that you take from her off the field. Michelle, what was uh, yesterday like watching the selection show? And you keep showing all these different West Coast regional regionals, and I'm sure you're thinking, okay, are we going to be in this one or that one? And finally was over. You know, I definitely hadn't heard of uh, a lot of the schools that had gotten in, so I was kind of thinking, yeah, you know, Fresno State's a big softball name. and um, It was uh, shocking and heartbreaking, and I still don't think it's hit me <laughs> that it's, you know, it's over. I played my last game. And, um, so, I mean, that's, I, was, I was heartbroken. It's definitely, it's a tough thing to go through when you've been there the last three years, but like I said, nothing, nothing's guaranteed. And um, we, I think, as a team, took advantage of that and didn't perform when we needed to. And, um, you know, and then we had times where we did perform. But um, it was never a guaranteed thing, and we had the control of that in our hands. And um, we didn't come through this year. So, I mean, it's our, we, the one person we can blame is not the committee, not anybody else. It's, it's our team and how we perform. So. When you see a team like Arkansas get in, you feel like you got snubbed? Because they only one game over 500. You know, I don't pay attention to other teams really. I don't. I don't go on the internet or look up other teams' scores. Um, there were a lot of other teams that I didn't know the names of that I thought uh, uh, you never even heard of that school. How did they get in? Um, but it, yeah, it was disappointing. But I don't feel like we got snubbed. I feel that. Um, I, I kind of have mixed feelings about it, you know. I feel that we had it, it in our control and um, we let it slip away. That's what I feel. Ultimately, I feel like it's on us more than anything else. Have you oh. talked to any of the girls yet after the selection show that we left night this morning about how they're feeling? Um, I've talked to a couple of the seniors mainly. And, um, you know, it's a rough way to go out. And um, so I just think that we're all a little in shock about it. But, I mean nothing we can do about it now. Did you feel added pressure knowing that, you know, Coach Wright announced her retirement of the week during the WAC tournament? Did you guys have pressure, more pressure on you, you felt like, to try to win it for her? No, you know, um, we always want to win. And even before she had told us about it, you know, and I think we were all grateful that she told us when she did. Um, but we definitely wanted to do, there wasn't more pressure, there was more fight, I think, in our team more um, heart to do it for her but not just for her but for our whole team you know because she's part of that she's a big part of the team so what was your initial reaction when she did I'm so I'm guessing she told you guys in a group right that she was retiring not individually yeah she told us in a group um you know I had mixed feelings about it I was I'm very thankful that I was here four years with her and um I wouldn't have imagined playing college softball for anybody else and um, I'm happy for um, I'm bummed you know I feel for the girls who have played for her and who are gonna have a new coach next year but um, 
you know, you can't do much more than Coach has done in softball. And um, if this is what's going to make her happy, you know, and this was her decision, then I fully support it, and I'm, I'm happy for her.